Look at the post parade. Number one, Street Life, trainer Chad Brown, assistant to Bobby Frankel, who trained Empire Maker to win the 2003 Belmont over Funnyside. This cold on race to two, Street Life sixth in the Wood Memorial, then third in the Peter Pan here at Belmont. Number two, Unstoppable U, the first of two trained by Ken McPeak. Only two career starts, both front-running victories, but a big step up in class and distance today. Number three is Union Rags, a horse that always seems to find trouble after a third in the Florida Derby, a seventh in the Kentucky Derby under Julian Leperu. John Velasquez picks up the mount. This horse's most impressive victory was last year here at Belmont in the Champagne. Number four, Adigan. Leperu moves from Union Rags to this colt, the second McPeak trainee, fifth in the Arkansas Derby, then an allowance winner on Derby Day at Churchill Downs, his first race at Belmont. Number five, Dullahan, named for a headless creature in Irish folklore. Dullahan has had five weeks to recover from a third-place finish in the Derby. He's been training like a champion. Javier Castellano replacing Kent DeSormo in the Irons. Though he's run well on dirt, he never has won on it. Number six, Ravello's Boy, who has never raced outside Florida. The most experienced horse in the field with 13 starts. He hasn't run in more than two months when he was fifth in the Tampa Bay Derby. Number seven, 516, Rosie Napravnik, only the second female jockey in the Belmont. Julie Crone rode five times and won it on Colonial Affair. 516, bred for distance, but has only one win. This is trainer Dominic Chatino's 46th birthday. Number eight, Guyana Star Dweege. Owner trainer Dudnoff Shim Miguel trained a horse named Guyana Star to win 52 races in South America. And Dweege is a Hindu word meaning twice born. Kent DeSormo won the Belmont on Summer Bird. Number nine is Painter. First original name was MC's Green, but he was named for Dave Painter, the man who built Bob Baffert's house in a name change. He's only raced four times, but has steadily improved from a fourth in the Santa Anita Derby to a second in the Derby trial to a five-length allowance win on Preakness Day at Pimlico. Number 10, Optimizer. Wayne Lucas looks for a fifth Belmont win. It would be a surprise. This horse 11th in the Derby, 6th in the Preakness. The last horse to win the Belmont after losing in the Derby in Preakness was Victory Gallop in 1998. Number 11 would have been I'll Have Another. Number 12 is Maya Donis, the same owner-trainer combination that won last year's Belmont with Ruler on Ice. Ramon Dominguez rides for the first time. He's already won three today. This colt was 7th in the Wood Memorial, then 3rd in the Canyonero at Pimlico. And that's your field for the mile-and-a-half, million-dollar, 144th Belmont Stakes. Well, who will it be? Will it be Mike Smith? He's a board painter. Will he go right to the front? We expect him to. Castellano, Javier Castellano, will be aboard Dullahan, co-favorite with John Velasquez on Union Rags. The Belmont Stakes when we come back. For five weeks, it looked like a bid for history was in the making. I'll have another has won the Kentucky Derby! He ran down Cody Meister to win the Preakness, and the Triple Crown will be on the line at Belmont Park! But then, yesterday afternoon, came the news. A devastating scratch. I'll have another is retired, so I'm afraid the history's gonna have to wait for another day. So, no Triple Crown for at least one more year. And in this case, a reminder of just how fickle the sport of horse racing can be. Okay! But as in any sport, the other contenders in the field, who entered the Belmont planning to play spoiler, now look to seize opportunity and a suddenly stronger shot at one jewel of the Triple Crown. Including Union Rags, a favorite five weeks ago in the Derby, who finished seventh in a nightmare ride at Churchill Downs. Delahan, third in the Derby, said to be looking strong this week on the track. And Painter, trained by Bob Baffert, whose horse Bodemeister came up just short in both the Derby and Preakness. They and eight other horses leave the start gate in just a few moments after a whirlwind turn of events that's transformed the nature and meaning of the 144th Belmont Stakes. And no denying that the meaning of this Belmont Stakes has been changed. Eleven horses will soon break from the gate. One of them will gallop off with the final jewel of racing's Triple Crown. But I'm sure if you talk to the connections of all 11, they'd be able to say, or prefer to be able to say, that in the process of winning the Belmont, they defeated I'll Have Another. They're not going to get that chance. Tom? 
All right, Bob, and despite the fact there is not a triple crown on the line today, 85,811 have turned out of Belmont Park to see the Belmont Stakes. Dallahan and Union Rags on the board at co-favorites, 5-2, to two, although slightly more money has been bet on Dallahan, and there's Union Rags. We got Donna Barton in here right now. I wanted to ask her how Johnny warmed uh, Union Rags up today. A lot of times you'll warm a horse up to get them uh, more active to make sure they get away from the starting gate. Yeah, Gary, he kept uh, Union Rags with the pony. Actually, I um, saw only one horse kick away from the pony, and that was Jose Lascano on the one Street Life. Street Life, as you know, gets well out of it early, and I think he just wanted to try to get a little bit more speed in him to give himself half of a chance to keep up. But actually, Johnny kept Union Rags just a normal warm-up, and I, I think that's just attributed to the fact that it's a mile and a half, Gary. They don't want to do too much in the post break and then try to get the distance. Yeah, and it's uh, also very noisy down here in front of the starting gate right now, and uh, that could get him ready to roll as well. So there's Absolutely. Union Rags. Normal to see him sweat a lot. He is a, a sweater. And uh, Dallahan seems to be well-behaved as he is taken by an assistant starter in preparation for entering the starting gate. And Painter, Mike Smith, with a final pat of his mount, who is currently at 4-1. to one. Here's a final check of the Belmont Stakes odds. Union Rags at 5-2, to two, Dallahan at 5-2, to two, and Painter at 4-1. to one. Three million has been bet on Dullahan, 2.8 million on Union Rags. The public sees this as a virtual toss-up. Dullahan heads to his stall. Bob Baffert and his wife Jill, his son Bodie looking on. Wayne Lucas, the veteran, pawed by a horse with a black eye behind those sunglasses now. He had a little accident earlier. Kenny Breen looking to win back-to-back -back Belmonts. And with the call of the race, Let's go to Larry Colmus, the 144th Belmont Stakes. Thanks, Tom. Optimizer was acting up a little bit, but now he has taken his spot in the starting gate, and that's going to leave Maya Donis to complete the lineup here for the 144th running of the Belmont Stakes. They're all in line, and we are ready for the start. They're off, and the Belmont Stakes in Union Reds had a fine start today. Painter is going to go to set the pace, though. And on the far outside, Maya Donis came out with speed. Optimizer is up close between those two. An unstoppable U is down on the inside. Union Rags will be fifth early as they run for that first turn. Union Rags is only about three lengths off the lead. Dullahan is in behind him. Attigan saves ground and then 516, Ravello's boy. Guiana Star Dweege and late running Street Life is the trailer. And he's about 10 lengths off of Painter, who completes an opening quarter in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. A solid first try action for Painter and Mike Smith. Optimizer is second on the outside. Unstoppable U is running in third position. Maya Donis is fourth as they make their way to the backstretch. And Union Rags and John Velasquez are fifth on the inside. They're four and a half links off the lead and they've had a good trip so far. Then Kiana Star Dweej moving up along a 516 and then Atagun along the inside. Ravello's boy Dullahan is now back second last on the backstretch. He's eight lengths off the lead and Street Life is the trailer as Painter continues to lead them. He completes a half mile in the Belmont Stakes in 49 and 1 fifth seconds. So we slowed things down a bit. Did Mike Smith on Painter. Unstoppable U is now off the rail to put some pressure on. Optimizer is running in third while Union Rags continues to ride the rail and he's four lengths off the lead. And then it's Maya Dunnis to the outside. Atagan is in behind them. Dullahan is now gaining some ground on the rail. He still has seven lengths to make up. Painter continues to lead the way. Three quarters went in 114 and three around the far turn. Painter is the leader. Union Rags is slipping through an opening on the inside of Unstoppable U. Maya Donis is going three wide. Dullahan is now being ridden in the back of the pack. He's got to go. Painter is the leader as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Unstoppable U is second. Union Rags is right behind them while Atagun swings up on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. Painter, here's Atagun. 
shotgun on the far outside. Unstoppable you. Union rags is fourth along the rail. Dolahan and Street Life are trying to get involved late. It's still Painter. Union rags. Adagan. Painter. Union rags. Fighting from the rail. Painter. Union rags has got him. Union rags in the Belmont Stakes. And Painter was second best. Then came Adagan. It was the real Union Ranks today. He won the Belmont. There's the horse we've all been waiting to see. Union Rags coming through on the inside. Finally lives up to his potential and takes a classic win in the mile and a half Belmont Stakes. There are the connections. Michael Matz. You remember Michael Matz, the silver medal winning Olympian who trained Barbaro to win the Kentucky Derby, the ill-fated Barbaro. And now he has Union Rags, whom he compared to Barbaro early in a description to Phyllis Wyeth, who owns this colt. And they have their redemption. There's Phyllis Wyeth. She's confined to a wheelchair, has been since 2001. She was a former steeplechase rider that in 1962 was involved in an automobile accident that nearly took her life. She broke her neck in that accident. She worked in John F. Kennedy's White House. But she has been... Uh, a stalwart owner and breeder in this business. She sold Union Rags and thought so much of him and the family's breeding, the family's investment in him, that she bought him back for nearly three times what she sold him for. Well, it pays off today in the Belmont Stakes. The Hickory Tree Farm family from Virginia and the Hickory Tree Bloodlines represented on the dam side, the mother's side of Union Rags today. And John Velasquez... Gets them out, rides for the first time, and has success as the crowd cheers as they post the numbers with Painter in second behind Union Rags. And finishing third was Adagon. Johnny Velasquez. Johnny Velasquez aboard Union Rags was just praying for room. He was bottled up. I thought he was going to get stopped again, uh, as he did in the Florida Derby and the Kentucky Derby. Two Hall of Famers here. Mike Smith already in the Hall of Fame. Johnny Velasquez, he's going into the Hall of Fame. He splits things up here, Randy, in a tremendous ride, tremendous effort by both horses. And how much heartbreak can one trainer oh. have in a triple crown? Bob Baffert, the trainer of Painter, sees the Belmont end, along with Mike Smith, just as the Preakness did on Bodie Meister. Baffert also second in the Derby with Bodie Meister, his own triple crown of sorts. Second in all three legs and the last two in heartbreaking fashion. And look at, look at Union Rags, the big Union Rags, squeezing through on the inside and that jockey change paid off. Well, it, it did. It was a, a great trip there. I mean, he got through. He had to get lucky to get through. It was not uh, easy getting through that hole, but uh, the horse showed the willingness and the bravery to do it. And here's the official photo finish with Union Rags getting the win over Painter and once again second for Mike Smith and Bob Baffert. Donna? Well, Johnny, the people have been watching him all along. He's had some tough trips. This was your first time to ride him, though. What was your impression of him? I was great, man. He did everything what he did in the works in the morning. I was very confident the way he worked. I mean, I, I thought I had a great trip in there. I thought, you know, I know Julian moving the outside of the other horse. And I was watching Mike, and I was just watching that hopefully he go to left hand and go after Julian a little bit on the outside. And once he did that, I went through, 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 the, through the rail, and he was very brave to get through there. Johnny, you mentioned that you worked in last week. When you worked in last week, did you think this is the kind of horse I can win the Belmont Stakes on? He just worked so unbelievable. I was just hoping that he can put that, that work in, in today's race, and he did. I was very proud of him. You're a New York rider. You've ridden in 16 Belmont Stakes. This is your second win. What's it mean to you to win this leg of the so Triple Crown? Just to be home, do it. This is my home for 22 years. It's incredible to be here and win it. So. Uh, couldn't, I, I don't have words to describe it. And to get this one for Michael. Incredible. You know, they, they like this horse uh, for so long. And for him to finally, you know, rise up to the top again, I'm very, very happy for him. Well done, Johnny. <laughs> so John Velasquez aboard Union Rags for the first time wins his second Belmont Stakes. And ironically, the man he replaced, Julian Leperu, finishes third on Adagon at 20 to 1. And Michael Matz, who has said all along, this horse is something special. Well, he was proven right today as he wins the Belmont Stakes narrowly over the game painter. Another second for Bob Baffert.
Coming up, we'll have the Pacific Life Race Replay. The 144th running of the Belmont Stakes is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. <laughs> 